Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for a Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. You can go ahead and subscribe your email there. Or I do have a few spots open for readings. It They might be gone, so don't shoot me if they are, but there are some spots open for readings. You can check my website out and check the calendar there, okay? And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. Okay. <laughs> well, that could not be more perfect with the energy right now, but I'm saying in general, um, cancer, there's a bridge to um, a relationship. Definitely, there could be a gap between you and a particular person. There could be a distance between you and another person. <laughs> it's funny that I'm saying a gap between you and another person and the card popping out with it is anima mundi, no separation. Accept all, reject none. This is really interesting because I feel like what will happen is you will have a person come back in all right or someone has come back in recently it's it could have been like mending a broken bridge okay and it's interesting that with this specific relationship or dynamic there's no separation between you and this person like yeah there might be a distance but there's something about the energy that might legit trip you out if because this Libra full moon, sorry, I know I'm going to bring this up in all the readings, but it's a little bit of a weird energy, especially because right now Venus is in shadow. She's not visible. And so she, if she's not visible, there can be conflict or tension in relationships or just a misconception of people's intentions and not seeing things very clearly because Venus is the love and the love can be gone. That's the entanglement. Her specific chemical makeup, her planet, influences our chemical to be activated in a specific way to almost have, a, and it's those lessons. That's why the planetary positions are so important because that's why you'll go through these ebbs and flows where you like love a person and then you freaking hate them or, you know, things like that. Cause the planets are in on it, you know? And what's really trippy is that a lot of these dynamics will highlight, you know, so you'll get someone's point of view. You'll be able to see their side of things. And that's why I feel as though there's, yeah, this opportunity where you could mend a broken bridge with someone or it's just a bridging energy between you and another person. All right. Okay, so we have the Maiden of Cups and the Magician. There, is, I, I want to say that to you, but it could be either or. We have the Magician, that can be Virgo, Gemini, but and of course Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there's a little bit, Maiden of Cups can be, a, it could be a bit of a naive emotions, or and it also could be the Maiden of Cups could be someone, you see the shadow side? It can be insecurity and sensitivity, like emotional sensitivity right now to a particular person. Like I feel as though, and we have the magician, like this could have been someone here in your experience, like a some type of a powerful person. This person, there's intellect, talent, intuitive, manifesting, strong willpower, but on the shadow, there could be trickery, self-doubt, deceptiveness, stagnant, and some insecurity. So it's fascinating that insecurities are coming in on both sides. So there could be a particular person as far as like manifestation wise that has done more or because there's definitely a difference in archetypes. This is a very like developed 
um, educated person or someone very experiential. They understand certain things about manifestation and how to work with them. And I feel as though when it comes to you, and it, maybe it's connected to your creativity, your ideas and your dreams, there's something that's still quite youthful about this hasn't been developed. But this person is really important to your process right now because I feel like there could be a connection here. This person could help bridge something or help you come into a manifestation or help you turn into the magician being very like developed or just being very good at manifesting your creative idea into reality. Okay. So I feel as though it's fascinating that accept all reject none. You might have an insecurity that comes up with this person that causes you to possibly reject them. And that's why I'm saying like, this will all come up very specific. Let's dive in here. Okay. Oh, it's, I feel like this person, there's like a, there's a sensitivity here. Yeah. Judgment. There's the old energy resurfacing. There it is. Okay. There's something about a connection where a door was opened, you know, like kind of an energy opened up, something that you had kind of made a conclusion about. You had you had decided, okay, this is it. This is who this person is or what this situation is. And um, I feel like with this accept all, you have come to a level of acceptance. And, and maybe this person possibly resurfacing is bringing out or this energy, sometimes it can just be energies that resurface in another person to help you see, like I was saying, a side of another person that you've been dealing with, that you have a perception about them. You have like a set way of seeing someone and that might not be totally accurate. Oh, lovely. We have the sun. Love it. Okay. Well, that's a lot of pre freaking positivity. I feel like also the sun is coming in. And it could be bringing this time in general of just rebirth. You know, you're feeling like waking up out of, for some of you guys, it could be out of the winter. So let's see. I just keep getting that separation. There's been a separation here. Wow. So we have three major arcana at the very get-go. The Wheel of Fortune. Woohoo! Cancer. This is lovely. It's like... Something positive is coming in to turn things around. Seven of Wands. Okay, see the imagery there? There will be some type of a something that turns around. And you will go through the up-leveling or the elevation that you've been desiring for a while. Like, something turns in a positive direction. And I feel like also some of you guys... Seven of Wands can sometimes be like getting out of conflict, like you're rising above a like a conflict or something like that. It feels as though for some of you guys, if you've been in some type of a situation where there's been some conflict brewing, brewing underneath the surface somehow, it feels as though a door or a window or some type of energy is going to open up where you can actually like <laughs> extricate from yourself from a situation or you can actually take a leap. Like something positive that comes in that helps you to be able to kind of get out or, you know, like sometimes that can be the energy that comes in. Let's see. You have no way. Look at that. There's the six of swords. Those are kind of similar in a way. This can be a little bit more that you've got some, it's like conflict on the way out. Sometimes it can be certain people that are trying to keep you down. This is my crab card. It, it's funny, it's in your reading, Cancer is the crab. But there could have been a, some type of a situation where, um, you know, when you're on this elevational process where you you just transform whether you want to or you're like it or not you're just the person that continuously kind of moves through a situation or you like transform and, and it's like your path takes you in a specific direction 
you can't really help it. So the Six of Swords, it feels as though, <laughs> I almost want to keep saying like in the nick of time, in the nick of time, something, the wheel will turn and the sun probably will do that too. That's why I've been telling everyone, the sun's been coming out in a lot of readings and I feel like it's that you're needing that, that energy, those photons to come in and light you up give you the energy source that you need and once that once your energy flips once you're actually turning into becoming more positive from that boom it's like you'll have this elevation come in you'll know what to do how to transform okay wow i feel like the six of swords you might be possibly traveling on your own nine of pentacles is independence some of you guys, this could also be entrepreneurship, starting your own business. Here's the thing. Um, yeah, the Six of Swords. It's like you're leaving some type of chaos or some... You, it's not good. <laughs> but whatever you pull into, I feel like this has been the thing that's been brewing underneath the surface all the time. is like a desire for you to be on your own or have this like maybe even financial independence or whatever this is for you guys it's going to bring you the next level of being on your own okay whatever that looks like for you oh king of cups wow and it's interesting starting with the maiden of cups and now we have the king of cups this looks good like the only two things here are kind of like oh you know how when you just feel something's closing in on you like almost like you can feel that thing brewing underneath the surface and some of you guys it could be you I wouldn't be surprised if you feel the influence of Aries you know this bit of an activation to that but there could also be that you're wanting time on your own you're wanting to be by yourself or like I said do things on your own do things the way you like them whatever this is that's what i feel like you guys are doing so if you're in a partnership it could be that you're going to be over here spending time on your own it could bring travel it could be like you go on a vacation by yourself that's very possible just throwing that out there but the king of cups i feel like whatever this is that you do it's going to bring this maturing of your energy feeling like all of a sudden, because this Maiden of Cups, it could have been that something environmentally cancer was affecting you to feel quite a bit smaller, you know, a little bit like you couldn't really fully express yourself. And Maiden of Cups is like really creative. You know, most water signs are, I think every sign is to some degree, but there you are finally getting to emotionally express yourself the way that you're wanting to feeling like you can be yourself again in some way shape or form interesting so lots of water and it's fascinating with the six of swords there's a bridge there there's the bridge there's water all around here i wouldn't be surprised if you guys are like traveling over bodies of water there's something about water there so I'll dive into the extended cancer. We'll see whatever other messages want to come out there. So if you guys want to join me, go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But cancer, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.